Hello, Mr. Barnes. How are you today? <laughs> I'm doing okay. I have several phone calls I'm returning, and I'm probably not going to give everybody everything they want to hear, but I am at least returning the phone calls to let you know where we're at. Okay. Where are you at? Well, uh, we have received the information from you and from other sources as well, and uh, as we normally do when there are complaints made or we come across information that might show some type of uh, violation or concern regarding the behavior or conduct, we will uh, initiate an internal investigation and follow the protocols that are established both by policy and by law. And the best I can do is ensure you that we are aware of it and we are going to fully investigate as is proper. Um, and I do appreciate people calling and letting us know what's going on in case we're not aware of it. Uh, oftentimes it's the citizens that tell us, and that's what makes us aware that we need to take some action or at least investigate something. Sure, that's understandable, but what is the process for, um, they, they claim to be on a bench warrant or that this man had some sort of bail. I mean, um, do you, do you, I find it hard to believe. you me specifics about a case or uh, points of law, I'm not going to be able to give you those. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm asking you about policy, about whether or not agents are able to go to a house without anybody in your office, commanders, higher ups, knowing. How are how how are five lower class officers? I'll let you know. I'm not going to be able to give you the information you want right now. Uh, I am letting you know that we are investigating it. Okay, here, here. Uh, let, uh, okay, I, I get that. This time to be able to comment on what the policy is. Fine. Let, 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 research that, and at this point, I'm just trying to let people know that we are investigating sure. what they brought forward. Sure. Sure. Okay, then maybe we can talk about this. Can you tell me like what the process is of the investigation that will take place now? Like, is it a 30-day review where a bunch of other officers will investigate these other officers and then come to a conclusion of what, if any, le legal wrongdoings have been uh, done by the part of your officers? Is that, um, is that what we're looking that, at? There, there are certain uh, established uh, protocols that are in law, both for the officer and through the agency. So that's under the uh, procedural Peace Officers Bill of Rights. And uh, there are certain timelines that are involved there and uh, various uh, other requirements that we have to meet to ensure that we're conducting the investigation pursuant to law. Okay, now I'll I have... refer you over to that if you want some details there. No, that's okay. Um, so basically there's like, there's an investigation before criminal charges are made or anything like that. Like these officers are going to get to explain themselves to somebody else other than a judge being accused of crimes before that would even happen. Well, I haven't said that. Well, yeah, you said they get an investigation where you guys have to go through a process. They have a bill of officers' rights. I mean, let me ask you this, sir. If that video showed me and my friends, five of my friends, knocking on somebody's door... Give me hypothetical situations that have... Sure, you said you didn't want to talk facts. Let's talk hypothetical. Okay, hypothetically, really what would your department do... ...whether they're closely related to what uh, your advising has occurred. I'm just simply letting you know that we are going to begin our investigation. Great. And, uh, I appreciate your call. I appreciate that too. But don't you think these men should just be charged with a crime and be able to face a judge like you would make anybody else? If that was me on that video, you would charge me with breaking an entry, lock me in your jail, and you make me sit in front of a judge. Things that have not even occurred in the actions of Why? Because you claim to have some piece of to comment on that. You have you claim to have some piece of paper. And if you don't have any further information. I do have further information, sir. You you work for the people. Sir, please don't hang up on me. Okay, well, I, I'm not going to spend all afternoon talking to you about things I can't talk to you about or I'm not knowing. So you work for the people, sir, and, and therefore I believe... I provided you is the reason I called, and I don't really have anything else to tell you. At this well, point. you should treat these officers like you treat other people. You know, you should lock them in a cage and, and make them sit in front of a judge. The, uh, the rights of all involved are protected. And that we sure. The law are, are, are the officers still working? Are those officers still working in your department right now? I'm sorry? Are those officers still on active duty right now? I'm not able to comment on that at this time. Why wouldn't you comment on that? I, people pay for that service. They want to know if thugs like this are on the street. I, what, what about transparency? See, that's just a case right there, man. These officers don't want to hold one bit of accountability. They don't want to answer a question. They get an extra level of protection. He's claiming about some peace officer's bill of rights, which I've never heard. And it just drives you crazy. They don't want to talk about what would happen otherwise. They want to pad their own people and protect themselves. And other than that, they don't want to talk about it. This is ridiculous. Um, I encourage everybody to call Officer Barnes. I'll post his number.